Welcome back YouTube. Once again, working on this cobalt, we're doing some front struts. First thing you want to do, take a 19 millimeter, loosen the lug nuts, jack up the car and take the wheel off. Here are the two part numbers. Use a 14 millimeter to take off the two caliper bolts. Having the caliper out of our way will give us more movement here on the knuckle after we get these unbolted here so that we can get more room to pull the strut out. So first thing we want to do over here, squeeze this little clip to pop this harness loose, push these two little grommets here out of the way, unhook them from the strut. <laughs> I can't really do it with one hand. Use an 18 millimeter on the knuckle bolts once you get the nuts off, move the bracket and the wiring out of the way. Now we're going to use an 18 millimeter to take off the sway bar end link. Now that that's off, take a mallet and knock these bolts out of the spindle. The bolts are grooved, so when you're hitting it, put the nut back on and hit it with the nut on so you don't screw up the threads on accident. I use a 13 millimeter and unbolt the top of the strut from the strut housing. Slide the new strut up into the housing and just start a couple threads on each bolt. Then line up everything over here and put the bolts in loosely. Just in case you have the CV axle pop, pop out of the cup on the transmission side like I just did. Support the bottom of the control arm, wiggle the rotor at the same time while you're pushing up towards the inside with the top of the rotor, and it'll slide back in, and then you can put these bolts in. This doesn't always happen, but when it does, it kind of sucks. But anyways, just keep that in mind. If it doesn't feel like it's going up easy, then that's what happened, it came out. Now tighten the top strut mount bolts. Put the little metal bracket back on and tighten down the nuts that go to these bolts here. And clip the wiring back to the bracket and here too. Now put the sway bar end link on and tighten down this 18 millimeter. Now that you have the strut and everything installed, double check all the bolts, make sure they're all tight. The caliper especially, you don't want that coming loose on you. And uh, you're just gonna toss the wheel back on and you're gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side of the car. I'd like to thank everybody for checking out my video. If you liked it, hit a thumbs up. If you hated it, put a thumbs down. If you wanna see more videos, comment below and subscribe and until next time wrench on